call the meeting of the Bay County Board of Commissioners to order on Tuesday, April 16th, 2024 in the Commission Chambers. Uh, roll call, please. Emick? Here. Tanajak? Present. Millet? Here. Herrick? Here. Radke? Here. Boyer? Present. Okay. Here. I didn't see everybody here. Got the whole crowd together. <laughs> Uh, invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we come before you this afternoon thanking you for the guidance and understanding that you have given this Board of Commissioners. We ask again today for your help and direction so this Board may make the fair and proper decisions for all citizens of Bay County. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we have the minutes from 319.24. Motion approved. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda, I think, any uh, additions? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, a motion to approve. So move. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Citizen input. If you would like to speak, approach the uh, stand. Don't have to sign your name. State, uh, state your name. And you have five minutes. Anyone wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak? <coughs> Anyone wish to speak? Close the citizen input. Petitions and communications. We have a, have a proclamation resolution uh, for the Knights of Columbus Day, April 20th. And actually, I heard it's actually today. Somebody said, we'll, we'll have them talk about that. Let's uh, have you read the proclamation. So a resolution by the Bay County Board of Commissioners, whereas on April 16th, 1899, Knights of Columbus Council number 414 was established in Bay City by a group of 49 men, and whereas throughout its history of existence, Knights of Columbus Council number 414 has contributed many hours of labor and fundraising efforts to help the people of Bay City and the developmentally disabled around the world. And whereas it is a pleasure for the Bay County Board of Commissioners and Bay County Executive to extend greetings and congratulations to the members of the Knights of Columbus Council number 414 as they celebrate 125 years as an integral part of our community and whereas the un unswerving commitment of the leadership and members of Council number 414 and the interaction within our community has always been evident and it is to be commended and whereas while there have been many changes in society in our community and in the way we have lived over the past 125 years, Council number 400, 414 has stayed true to the goals and ideals set forth by Father Michael J. McGivney when he established the Knights of Columbus in 1882 <coughs> to serve those in need, and they have done so in the most admirable manner, therefore be it resolved that with pride the Bay County Board of Commissioners and Bay County Executive hereby honor the Knights of Columbus Council number, number 414 on the occasion of its 125th anniversary by designating April 20th, 2024 as Knights of Columbus Day, be it further resolved that the Bay County Board of Commissioners and Bay County Executive offer their best wishes for many more years of outstanding and exemplary service to all Bay County residents. Looking for a motion. Uh, motion. Move it. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. If you would step forward. <clears throat> so it is the 16th, right? It's, it's official day. Okay. So, yeah, Jim's here. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> that just, you just want to thank you for your service. Uh, I, I belong to the Lions Club, which is another service agency. The Salvation Army is another service agency, and we all work together to help the community. So thank you. We appreciate all of the Knights of Columbus uh, uh, organizations that we have in the region, and especially Port 14 is special. 
I've been a guest there many, many times, and we know that you've been an integral part of our community and appreciate all the good work that you do. And so I'm proud to designate April 20th mm -hmm. as Knights of Columbus Day in Bay County to encompass not just 414, but all the Knights of Columbus that uh, have really enhanced the quality of life for all of us. So uh, congratulations. 125 years is something that very few organizations ever get to celebrate, be it a church or a business or any other institution. That it's a, it's a long, long history of service. So congratulations, and we will see you on Saturday. Thank you. How much? Sure. Uh, it's always a tough part. But uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone here in the county uh, for this. This is, it means a lot. 125 years is special for us. Uh, I am the, the Grand Knight of our council, and, and Alan is our Deputy Grand Knight, and it, we certainly have put uh, a lot of, uh, of our, our blood, sweat, and tears into this and what we do, um, supporting lots of things in the community, and not just our church, uh, but to uh, organizations like Special Olympics, uh, which is a, an organization that's also near and dear to my heart. My son's an athlete. Um, also Camp Fishtails and uh, uh, food pantries and just all sorts of stuff, especially going through the COVID and where people needed that. We just, we, we do a lot and we just uh, are excited for what we do and we hope to continue for another 125 years, so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Green Commissioner, I don't think he's here, but his report is in the office. Uh, it's a 2023 annual report. Uh, due to its size, the document is not printed as part of this agenda, but available for review in the Board of Commissioner's office, the Drain office, or the County Clerk's office. It can also be found at https colon backslash backslash www.baycounty hyphen mi.gov backslash drain commissioner backslash so i'm sure you have all that memorized but uh, you can look at our website <laughs> i need a motion to receive the drain commissioner's report Moved and supported. Yeah, okay discussion all those in favor say aye. aye i did have a chance to look at it you know if you, you might want to look at your 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 townships your areas you represent because there's a lot of a lot of drains that run through the, the county of Bay. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of work. Yes, you know. Oh, yeah. So, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Committee of the Whole, Commissioner Banajak from April 2nd meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> resolution number 2024 42 MIDC grant renewal. I move this resolution. For discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the motion carries. Resolution number 2024 43 MDOC grant funds for a 2025 year. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. Resolution number 2024 44 2025 service provider contracts agreement and MOU. I move this resolution. Support. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-45, Memorandum of Understanding with MDOT for the year 2025. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> resolution number 2024-46, Premium Pay for Direct Care Workers Funding for the 2024 year. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-47, 2024 Senior Project Fresh Market Fresh Program. I move this, I, I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Resolution number 2024-48, Bay City Chapter 513 of the Military Order of the Purple Heart Convention. I move this resolution. Support. Uh, discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. This is, this is a, by the way, this is an annual, or not an annual, but it's a convention they have periodically, and we have the funding for this, the budget. Thank you. 
You didn't ask for it. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. <laughs> Resolution number 2024-49, golf course fee schedule revisions for the youth on course program. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. Resolution number 2024-50, people driven self-service password reset budget adjustment statement of work. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion. <coughs> I just reset my password, <laughs> so it was easy. We have our person back there. Uh, they have a new system now. Uh, the uh, what's it called? The Duo Duo system. It's a way to verify. And I was just at a meeting yesterday where somebody got called into the service to reset their password. Oh, it was on. It was on 60 Minutes. Discussion about people hacking in, and there's a a group of professional hackers, but they're also trying to sabotage some of the uh, utilities and things like that. So it was an interesting story about this group that were able to hack into a system and, and shut down the, I think it was electrical system that they had. So hmm. definitely out there. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-51, bid award for Bay County Health Department electronic health record software put to Ganyan Health. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Resolution number 2024-52, bid award for Bay County Community Center gym floor to dynamic sports construction. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion. I played on the gym floor, it was a very old gym floor, it was a very slippery gym floor, and uh, now it's gonna, it's gonna be a real nice gym floor, right? I said, so you don't slip and slide and- uh, Correct, it'll be a multi-purpose floor, so you'll be able to do sports, but also have tables and chairs, so you'll still have be able to do baby showers and um, all sorts of stuff, along with <laughs> basketball, volleyball, and pickleball, so it'll be very nice. And it's original to the building, so it's, it's time. Very <laughs> old. <laughs> Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-53, payables. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Let's go on to Committee of the Whole April 9th meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Deck. Number 2024-54, fairground improvements on date request. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? Anybody here from the fair board? If you want to speak and pr do a little promotion, coming up in August. Yeah, so the Bay County Fair is going to be August 6th through the 10th. Um, we, we actually have a really cool fair going on this year. We have some new things going. We're actually bringing back midget wrestling because that was a big hit last year. So we're going to have that again. Um, but we're also having um, an offering a free um, track or, um, horse pull on Thursday, the night of our auction. Uh, that's the 8th. Um, so that's going to be a free event. So anybody from the public can come and watch that. Um, we'd like to promote agriculture, and that's going to be an agricultural um, one. And then of course, then we still have our dirt drags and our bump and grind and figure eight. So this year, in the midway, we're actually going to have a which is free because we have free admission. We have a sand art exhibition. So they're gonna come and build some big sand sculpture throughout the week. Um, we're also gonna have a butterfly exhibit. So that's gonna be free. And we're actually gonna plan a butterfly release. So oh, cool. I think that's gonna be either Friday or Saturday. <coughs> we haven't had the date for that yet. But anyway, we're looking forward to it. A lot Mr. Of it Mr. Herrick. Uh, I just, you weren't here, but we were singing your crazes last week. You know the, the great job you guys are doing out there. I was here. I was. Oh wait, but some, of the, but you know some of these, and just so you remember, some of these commissions are looking forward to buying a side of beef or a chicken or a, a duck or something like that. Yes. They, they, they absolutely love it. We they, have a we have a commissioner that would like to buy another one. But you're doing, you guys is still saying you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, we've got a great board. We actually this year it's kind of a joke. We have. Um, Three board members who are pregnant. Um, so our joke is that we can't find volunteers, so we're making them. So that's mm -hmm. what our thing is. And we're going to have four 
four babies at the fair this year. Which is oh, kinda, wow. It's unusual for a fair board to have a young fair board, and we do, um, which is kind of nice. Um, so anyway, so we're looking forward to that, too. That's going to be fun. Good. But yeah, okay. come and see us. Did you just say the dates? August 6th through the 10th. Okay. Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank and the option will be on Thursday, Thursday. as usual? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yep. Starting at 6. You're all invited. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, good time. Yeah. I'll get another anyway, Thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Thank you, Mary mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Resolution number 2024-55, replacement upgrades celebrate mobile forensics UFED touch two. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Resolution number 2024-56, Blue Cross Blue Shield inmate service contract. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-57, Vertev maintenance agreement. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-58, full-time supervisor position hired at a two-year rate. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? Julie made the trip over. She's sitting in the back row there. <laughs> I want to have her come up and speak this a little bit. Hopefully, Good afternoon. it'll be successful. Uh, I, I see there's two positions. I saw somebody here, some positions have opened up or you've had some people leave. So are you, you're not fully staffed yet then? No, we are not. Yeah. The state of Michigan really likes to take my employees. <laughs> Um, so we do have a supervisor position available. We have an internal candidate who has experience, um, very good at the crisis situations that we have um, coming up with our individuals. And so um, with that experience, we, he requested to have that um, higher pay. And there was some talk about transitioning to a different like the court's taking over the the uh, ownership of the <laughs> yes, that, that, yes, early, that, early discussion. Very separate conversation, yeah. very early conversation, yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know supervision restrictions are pretty strict right now. What you can, what you can do <laughs> makes it pretty difficult. But. Yes, different rules, different, yeah. um, uh, one's a license and one's a yeah. uh, inspection. All my grade school teachers would be in jail by now for wrapping me on the knuckles or uh, making me right or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-59, 2025 budget schedule. I move this resolution. Smart. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Uh, Board of Commissioners, Commissioner Herrick, you do the honors. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, resolution number 2024 60 reports to the county executive for March. I move this resolution. Support. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2024-61, the 2024 Bay County Equalization Report. I move this resolution. Smart. Discussion? Uh, we had the presentation last week. It's in the packet here. Uh, he's asking for approval and adoption of the, of the report. And it'll be available in the uh, office for reading also. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And that is all from the Board of Commissioners, Mr. Okay. Chairman. We have a report of county officials, uh, county executive. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, you just mentioned uh, some initial discussions, and we've met with Judge Sheeran about um, exploring the possibility of shifting the juvenile home to the court system as the rules uh, for the staff in the interacting with the juveniles would be would be a little more secure for the staff but that's very preliminary and 
we'll have a report later on that. Um, just want to want to mention that we had seven corporations submit responses to uh, our RFP for the new Bay County Health Services Center on Wilder Road, the former Art Van facility. So uh, we'll be going through that process and selecting hopefully a, a good qualified contractor and all of the responses that were submitted were excellent. So, But as you know, we'll be going through that process and narrowing it down to one that will be awarded the contract and we're excited about mo moving forward on that transformation of the Health Services Center. Yep. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Commissioner comments. Any Commissioner comments? None. Um, Many. We're planning on having a presentation on the 14th of May on the, the pool feasibility study. They, they gave us a preliminary report yesterday. They're going to do, I think they're going to speak to the, the people interested in the pool uh -huh. and then have a the presentation here on May 14th. Uh -huh. So we'll have a little more information for everybody. Any unfinished business? <coughs> New business? Public input, another chance for public input. Dr. Moroni, do you have any comments? <laughs> Uh, this commission requested a community assessment on opioid use that was put together by the health department. I've had a chance to review it with the treatment and prevention providers in this city, and they can't all be here because we have to see patients, so I'm representing um, Kyle Hanshaw from Pier 360, Katie Ball from uh, Bay County Prevention Network, Jackie Liss, the Liss Psychological, and Renee from Sacred Heart. None of this is meant to be personal, and we have to value and cherish our right to agree and disagree, so I'm going to highlight some of my disagreements with the community assessment. And I promise to keep it to five minutes or less. <laughs> That's not always easy. Um, the first comment that I have is the structure and format is from the Bronx opioid use assessment from 2018 and the data was collected in 2017. So the format, including the questions used, are eight years old and we're in a post-COVID, post-fentanyl environment that make that very difficult. Uh, I don't think it's an easy translation. My second comment is that the report, based on this eight-year difference, looks at heroin. And uh, I think you've seen this slide on some of my other stuff. Uh, we're talking about fentanyl today, and this is diffi very difficult, and um, prevention efforts are not as clear, nor are they as strong. My third comment is it talks about expert and project assert in uh, our prevention efforts and Katie Ball and I from Prevention Network agree that in evidence-based studies, project assert and expert have only been valid in alcohol recovery. They've never been validated in opioid recovery. The other thing that was predominant to discuss with all of my treatment providers is uh, David seemed eager and uh, David had a very transparent heart. He pushed all of us to feel like we were part of the problem and we're not getting along and there's not enough collaboration and that word collaboration kept coming up. And the Harvard Business Review clearly says Collaboration has to be organic. It can't be forced from an outside authority. I pick up the phone and call Renee at Sacred Heart. We collaborate. We're going to have dinner later. I pick up the phone and call Jackie List. We've been having dinner for over a year. And Kyle Hanshaw and I have talked for six or seven years. And Katie Ball and I are working on education efforts for the county for opioid education and training. So. I think there was this false image that we don't collaborate. And 
Uh, collaboration, according to the Harvard Business Review, slows you down and dilutes energy sometimes. What I also found uh, interesting is um, David stopped the uh, opioid data in 2021 and I gave him this chart and I gave this to you all about two months ago showing that we had improvement with treatment and he canceled or censored some of the data that I offered him for studies that showed naloxone by zip code. Um, that's okay, but while we've grown with naloxone, we have never seen naloxone reduce overdose death. The opioid treatment money and the focus is to reduce death now. Naloxone has never shown that because naloxone needs to be linked to getting people into treatment, not as a separate entity by itself. I am very disappointed because I gave him data. And the other thing is in the treatment and prevention world, when we meet, we talk about treatment and prevention because the government efforts say that 80% of the money should go to where we are with treatment and prevention because treatment has to pay malpractice. Treatment has to pay rent. Treatment has to pay salaries. And a lot of prevention efforts are much lower in cost, so they're less. And his effort to say that primary treatment or primary prevention is prevention and secondary prevention is treatment, I think is very misleading and probably misinformation based on a clinical perspective. I also will close with this remark, is that the Bronx clinical assessment that was put out there was done for law enforcement, but there were three physician participants, not anonymous questions to people in agencies, but that physicians that helped guide it and there were no physicians that helped guide the data or the recommendations. So um, the false emphasis that we're not collaborating and we may be part of the problem, uh, it really left me unsettled. And Renee and I just talked today. We're kind of business competitors. We're kitty corner from each other. And we both believe that the treatment service can be available, it's not that it's not there, but we believe that it's underfunded and that's treatment, not prevention. If you're going to use any tools, I ask that you consider my comments about the opioid assessment based on the Bronx model that was used, the age of the model, and the lack of actual physician guidance of the data and the recommendations. How's that for five minutes? It's okay? <laughs> Pretty close. Any questions? No personal. We all got thick enough skin. We're good. We can agree to disagree. So I read through the, the one, you know, the one that we have now. That there's another one being put up, and Amy Dolinke from Mac is working on another assessment thing, and she sent out a questionnaire recently, so I'm sort of waiting to see what, what she has to say compared to what, and that would be more of a current, current one that they're doing and we'll evaluate and that. And that would be from the Michigan Association of Counties? Counties, and, and they're affiliated with U of M and MSU. There's a whole group, collaboration group. Right. So thank you for the time. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dr. Maroney, the more input we can receive, the better, whether it's from Matt, whether it's from our health services department. Um, you and I had a discussion, and I know it came up, I think, last week about the efficacy of the DARE program. I used to participate in those a lot for fifth and sixth graders, and it's my understanding the analysis um, of the, you know, the effectiveness of that kind of exposure in the fifth and sixth grade to the dangers of drug addiction uh, turned out to have a very temporary effect. And I, and I know some of the discussion is should we, 
should we put resources into into the schools and at what age or grade level and whether or not that's a productive use or effective use of the resources we have. I think the specific data from the University of Illinois and the University of Kentucky showed that the 10-year follow-up for drug use had negligible effect and the University of Illinois study showed that exposure to drug information increased drug use in their participants which everybody has to admit is counterintuitive, but it had great public relations. It sounded really good, but like everything, when I bring my data, I always like to throw around evidence-based. If we go back and look, the, um, and, and you know, it sounds good because a lot of other people copied DARE. They didn't like the name and they wanted to change it in different states, but that kind of model but nobody ever really said, why did D.A.R.E. fail? People said what happened, but the best information I saw that why D.A.R.E. was a failure, don't hate me, <laughs> it was delivered with zero tolerance from law enforcement. There was no chance to relapse and have um, the idea of education and prevention and public health, it was kind of seen as punitive, according to the uh, American Psych Psych Psychiatric As uh, Association, the APA. So that is my assessment of you know what you said about Dare. That's that's correct. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And the other public input. Any other public input? Any other public input? Miscellaneous. Any miscellaneous? Any announcements? I have one. Monitor Township is holding a informational open house from six to nine tonight. Monitor Township Hall to talk about Three Mile Road, which they started working on today, by the way. So uh, very timely. So they'll they'll be under construction for quite a while, <laughs> along with a lot of other places too. So if you go down three mile, you live in Monitor, if you want to know what's going on, six to nine, it's a, it's a drop in type thing. It's not like a formal meeting. They'll probably have maps and drawings and times and stuff like that. So stop by. I can see it out my window. <laughs> so any other announcements? We have 2,024 appointments for June. The library board, one five-year term. October, land bank authority, one three-year term. Bay County Department of Human Services, uh, at large three-year term. This is a governor's appointment. December, Bay County Veterans Affairs Committee, one four-year term. Department on Aging Advisory Committee, four two-year terms. Uh, districts two, four, and six, and one at large. Mm -hmm. Is there a need for a closed session? There's not, Mr. Chair. No. Uh, motion to adjourn. Support. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We are adjourned.